Hey there! I have been dying to paint. I have not painted in days. And I don't have much time this week because we are heading to Georgia for my son, my stepson's graduation from AIT, which is a school uh, in the Army where he's taught his skills. He's been there for six months or so and he's finishing up and he's been uh, shipped to Texas. and. So we're going to go spend a few days at his graduation and the weekend with them and then they're off to Texas with our little granddaughter. So I was uh, just flipping through some videos because I love to watch YouTube videos just to get, you know, pouring ideas and that kind of thing. And um, I love to watch Gina DeLuca and someone else had done a video trying to do Gina DeLuca's pours and it, and it made me think I am going to still try this again. I did three pours in a row and they looked kind of like cosmic galaxies uh, almost like weather maps, like heat or weather maps. It was kind of strange but she gets these lovely cells just from Floetrol and Liquitex Basics and um, I used the same exact formula and I got a few cells but not the cells that she got and I noticed too that um, other people had said if you mix your paint ratio thinner you might get larger cells and then I watched someone else do a, a pour that was kind of like Gina DeLuca's and she used more Floetrol than Gina does. She used three parts Floetrol to one part paint and she used a different brand. She didn't use Liquitex. She's in a different cut. She's not in the United States. And I thought, well, I'm going to try this again with three parts Floetrol, one part paint. And on the metallic, the gold, I'm going to do two parts Floetrol. I want it to be thicker so that possibly it will show up more. So I've got my Flood Floetrol latex based and I've got one part paint and I'm going to do three parts Floetrol. So three times as much Floetrol as I have paint. And I wanted kind of the peacock colors. I'm, I've, I just love vivid color and I bought a bottle of the Color Shift paint. Um, from Folk Art. This one is that purple, purple flash, which is just the paint alone poured in the cup is just gorgeous. It has two, like, it has a bluish cast and a purple cast that's really beautiful. This is just a um, Creative Inspirations. It's Ultramarine Blue. This is Artist Loft Aqua Green. I've got Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. This is Liquitex Basics Gold. So, get these three parts to one part here going. But I'm going to do two parts to one part on the gold. So, just looking to make sure I have enough flow trawl for the amount of paint that I have put in the cup. I'm going to speed through the mixing part and I will be back with you shortly. So I've got the paints mixed with the flow trial. The, the gold is super thick. The blue and the purple color shift are really kind of great. This is super thick with the Artist Loft and so I'm going to add a little bit more Floetrol to it, but what I'm going to do is instead of just straight out water, I'm going to put water in a cup here and add just a little bit of Floetrol to it because I noticed that some people would do a Floetrol water mix so that it's not just straight out water, so I'm going to try that. But I am not adding silicone to any of my colors. I want to do straight out paint, flow trawl, and see if I can get some cells. So I'm just stirring this up. And 
The gold is definitely going to need probably quite a bit. But I, I still want it a little thicker than the rest. But you still want it to pour off your stick like honey. And if it does not pour off your stick, then it's going to be super thick and it's not going to spread around on your canvas very easily. I was going to use copper, but I really love gold with the peacock kind of color range. So I decided to switch and use gold. I also wanted to mention that I do a giveaway every month on my website at sandralette.com and this month's giveaway is an acrylic block. It's a four inch acrylic block, so it's uh, black on the back side, and the Koi Realm painting that I did on the back, the background is a fluid pour, and I painted two koi fish, and there's a video of me painting the koi fish. It is printed on this acrylic block, and so it's four inches, and it has kind of a, a, a magnified feel to it. And as you can see, it's made from the glass, so you see through it. But it's really awesome. It's uh, a really cool thing, and if you want a chance to win, go to www.sandralette.com and the front home page will have a contest button where you can click on it and register with your email address for a chance to win this giveaway. I'll be giving it away at the end of the week. So once again I have Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and that comes in a big quart that I get at Michael's Liquitex Basics Gold Folk Art Color Shift Purple Flash, which is a gorgeous color. This is Creative Inspirations Ultramarine Blue. I think I got this at Jerry's Artorama in Raleigh, North Carolina. There's, they have multiple locations, and, they ha and you can also order from them online. And this is Artist Loft Aqua Green. The ratio is 3 to 1 except for the gold is two to one. So it's probably my thickest one. So I'm just double checking to make sure that they are nice and fluid. I think I'm gonna add just a little of water to these. This one is pretty well mixed up because I can see the bubbles and it's it's more fluid than these two are. And Gina DeLuca does her um, the gradient pour where she starts in a large measuring cup and she starts kind of with the deepest colors like purple and then she works her way to the yellow which is the lightest almost kind of in a rainbow color effect. And um, but she does it in layers, and I'm not going to try to do this in layers. I'm going to do it like a dirty pour. So I've got this plastic cup, and I don't know why this cup is all bent and funky looking. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I'm going to use it anyway. Move my water out of the way. That's not ketchup, it's water. And so I'm going to start with the deepest color, with the blue. And I need probably at least 12, 12 to 14 ounces or so to cover this canvas. So I'm going to give myself plenty of paint to work with. And there is no silicone in any of these. Now I'm going to do the purple color shift and I'm going to pour it straight in. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to do my gold now. I'm 
and this aqua green. I'm going to have way more paint than I need. And I want lots of white to go in as well. So it's all in there. This is a 12 by 24 canvas that I've put push pins on the back. I'm going to pull out my metal baking pan that I've had forever where the paint just peels out. Once it's dried, it just peels out. It's the most fabulous thing. So I have used this for five or six months and it just keeps peeling out. And it's a heavy duty full baking pan and it's gotten its use for sure. So typically she does kind of a tree ring kind of pour on a more square type canvas. I'm going to do, you know, maybe kind of an oblong thing because it's not a square. Or I might pour here and pour there, but I kind of want it to, the, pour, the paint to come out kind of the way I poured it in. So we shall see about that. The total experiment. Are you ready to see what happens? There's cells going on in the cup, for sure. I'm not using everything in my cup because I don't, I don't need that much paint. So I'm just trying to get it back to the, to the center of the canvas. I am going to pull out my heat gun and see if I can just get some cells to pop up. So I am getting cells this time, which is awesome. I'm happy about that. So now I'm going to try to stretch it down. I do see some lumps in my paint, so I think before I go any further, I'm going to try to remove them. That is most likely, well the green, the green was kind of thick, I don't know if I'd had it a while the aqua green color and so I had to stir it quite a bit to get it to break down and then sometimes with the flow trawl you can get like a strand in the flow trawl so it could be the flow trawl it could be in the color I'm not sure I'm going to take it back this way I'll come this way. Let it go off the edge. I think what I am going to do is use what I have in my cup, which is the purple. Just to kind of use it up. And that way I don't lose the beautiful part that's happening right now. So I'm going to see if I can tilt this. I 
also, too, you can grab your leftovers that have dripped and use them so you're not wasting more paint, too, as well. But now I'm going to let this go back this way some. go over that purple and now I'm going to let it come back this way that gold is just beautiful this part here is really beautiful Just taking what's dripped on the table. So I finally got my cells, and the key, I think, is to have a more fluid mix. So you don't want your paint super thick because if it's thick, it's not going to move around and spread if there are cells. So I think that was kind of key in this painting this time. See more lumps. I'm going to do, I'm going to use my butter knife here, if I can get down under here, and scoop out some of this green, because I don't have any green in my cup, because at the bottom it was the purple, so I'm just taking this green and I'm going to swipe it through this purple. I like this purple on the end here, so I'm going to try to keep that purple. Let it drift over here a little bit in this corner. Oh, I love these colors. Oof. It's funny, you know, when you do, a, you haven't painted in a while and you do one and it actually kind of does what you kind of hoped it would do. You're just so tickled to have it show up, you know. You're dreaming for that beautiful pour. So to get it to do that, to work, is amazing. Making sure my paint has covered all the edges. So it's interesting, the green, the gold, the purple shift really kind of blended in. It kind of goes more purple here, but it definitely goes with that ultramarine blue here, which is kind of interesting. Trying to see if I can get this uh, gold to be a little bit more predominant. So even when you don't use silicone, when you do use, you know, more Floetrol, it it does thin your paint down, and you do sometimes get lighter spots on your canvas where you kind of see down to the grain of the canvas. And that's because of the Floetrol. It is a paint extender, so it kind of makes your paint like a glaze because I was a decorative artist for 
20 years and I used Floetrol as a glazing medium with latex wall paint and that's how I did my faux finishes. So when you add Floetrol to your paint, you're kind of making your paint like a glaze, if that makes sense. And so it is going to make your paint more transparent. You don't lose the color, but your color becomes transparent. So that is sometimes too why you see through to the canvas and that's why you just have to make sure you have enough paint thick enough on your canvas so that it doesn't like totally expose the grain of the canvas. I love this. I love it a lot. The white did not really come through and I'm kind of glad. I'm trying to get a lump right here. which brought some green into that part of the painting. Let's see if I can add a little purple back in there. I'm dipping in my, dip in my cup here. So there where I kind of played with the paint too much, I can just throw some purple back in and it will sink down in with that. Maybe stick just a little bit of gold back to. But I have to kind of blend it in because the gold is blended in with the other colors. It's not straight out gold, so you just have to kind of make it work. I'm so pleased with this. It's beautiful. I'm going to put my heat gun to it one more time. Zoom in a little bit closer if I can. So you can see just a little bit better. Didn't change things a whole lot. It brought out maybe a little bit more purple here. And if the purple pops out here, that's even better. I'll probably like that even better than I do now. So I'm going to dry, try to very carefully bring it up to you. So there's a project that I used with no silicone, finally, and tons of cells. So that shows that you do not have to use silicone if you don't want the residue on top or if you don't want the, to use coconut milk and have the residue. The Floetrol and the paint will do it. But I, I've discovered, I think, to ha if you want the cells, then you need to make your mix thinner. So this is awesome. And I'm sure it will change as it dries, but I am tickled pink with it. So there it is. I'm going to go put it away. This is my butcher paper that I have on my Amazon link in every video below the video. And if you don't know it, you can click on an area that says Show More if you're on your laptop or whatever. If you're on your phone, it's just a little down arrow that will give you more information about the video in case you've never been able to find that uh, aspect of the video before. And that's where I show everything. I describe my process and... Um, what paints I used, what recipe I used, and all that. So that, that's where you can find a lot of information about the video and the colors and products and all that. There's always the Amazon link and my PayPal and everything below in all my videos. This has inspired me to do another painting and so I don't want to give up on doing a painting right now so I've got to figure out what I can paint on. I